I might have to hop off actually. It's okay. I'll do commentary. Hey guys, it's Cheesecake here. Um, welcome to Afterglow. The first Michigan Thursday Weekly in a hot minute. In semi, anyway. And we have everyone coming out here today. Stack bracket. People from everywhere. People from the Upper Peninsula. It's pretty crazy stuff. Anyway, um, this is Fork versus Aura Doster. Yes, this is Doster. Um, oh, oh the, the characters are backwards. I just noticed that. It's just Fork's playing Lucina. Um, any, but anyway, I know Cork is out here repping Frog. I'm a bit of a Cork fan myself. Um, but Filters out here is going Lucina against Greninja. I really don't think this matchup is that good for Lucina. Um, because Greninja has the projectile, and um, also Greninja's just really fast, so we can weave in and out of Lucina's like sword attacks and essentially punish them. So, but Dilster is doing a good job of keeping this lead. That, that counter was a little unsafe. The thing about Lucina is she likes to split the ledge and like ledge trap instead of um, necessarily going off stage. The off stage this game is pretty good too, but like her ledge trapping is really good. So, um, counter. A lot of it involves just like reacting to their options. Okay. Fourth, almost all oh, fourth. The back air doesn't work, but it doesn't matter because the hydro pump. And does another back air just for good measure, but I think he's dead after the hydro pump. Um, some moist gameplay from Fork, I would say. Um, with the hydro pump. Oh, nice wait on the upbeat. Call that one out. Not sure why Dilster would upbeat out a down throw from her ninja, but, um, especially at such a low percent. Um, I'm not too sure why, but. Cork with a nice reverse back airs. Oh, he might be able to get this edge guard here. Not quite though. It's really hard to edge guard on this game, even though Greninja's edge guarding is very good. Um, his back air is amazing. Hydro pump is really good. Um, and also you can get back from really far distances because of how high his jump is, and also how far hydro pump goes. That was a really good directional air dodge to weave in, actually. Avoiding that attack from basically just drifting. And that's the kind of stuff that like Greninja players need to incorporate in their gameplay. They need to use their drift more because it's very good. Um Alright, so that was a death from the up tilt. And so I think that was game one because um because they went on PS2. So but Dilster wins game one. Let's see if Mort can bring this back, the adaptation here from this Greninja. Is this Greninja a Protean Greninja? Does it have the adaptation? Or is it a Battle Bond Greninja? It only works when he uses his final smash. Um, they made him transform into Ash Greninja in the final smash of this game, actually. Which, in case of you didn't know, it makes the Smash Bros Greninja a male because they're gender locked to male, all the Battle Bond Greninjas are in the Pokemon games. So that's fun, interesting Greninja facts from this commentate stream. It's such a treat to be able to see Greninja player on stream and commentate it, because I'm a Greninja main myself. And there are not a ton of uh, us left out here, because a lot of us decided we wanted to play real characters and not Greninja. But um, let me tell you, Greninja's still very good. Um, and this matchup is also very good. Nice, I really like the down air. That's really good on shield, because it's you actually can't really punish that on the shield, down air on shield. Um, just because you go so high up, and a lot of people try it, but they usually end up failing this sort of play. Um, and you're usually better off trying to catch Greninja's landing when he does that, but... Again, you have such a fast frog. This frog is insanely fast. Nice parry, but... Yeah, the thing is, is the down tilt up smash, um, he didn't get, like, the inner spot, the inner, um, hitbox of the down tilt. So, like, when he doesn't get that, it's really hard to hit the down tilt up smash, because, again, they can just DI away, it doesn't work. So, ooh, nice dash attack to cover that. Um, I can punish that for that quite a bit sometimes, just kind of lingering at the ledge like that. Um, nice back air. Oh, can you not hear me? Hi, guys! 
Okay. <laughs> uh, hi guys. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um... The thing about Greninja's forward air is it's like minus six, so it's really safe on shield, but... Um... It, it can be punished if they don't space it right. If you space it right, it's really safe on shield. That pair didn't kill just because it was so far away. Uh, this is where it gets hard to play Greninja because he has to find a kill move at 172. Back air will kill off the ledge like that. Nair will also kill. Um, forward spell will kill. Those are the type of kill moves you'd be looking for here. But it's still really hard. It's still really hard to land. Up throw will also kill. Yep. Uh, nice up throw there. Um, yes, sir. And Lucina doesn't really have, like, you know... That was a really nice, like, anti-air forward air. That's kind of, like, forward is still hard to use in this matchup just because Lucina is so, um, has such large hitboxes and forward air is frame 16, so it's a little tough to use against Lucina. But if you space it right, it's really good because you can go outside of a range. So that's how, um, it, it's still pretty hard to use, though. Okay, that's really hard to land, though, the down throw raw back air, but before it gets that, that's a really nice combo to have in your arsenal. Because Greninja's grab game is good, but, like, you have to be really good at instant raw back air off of your grabs. Um, and you usually have to read something. Oh, that was really creative with the down, or with the back air, the two hits of the back air. Now, Quark can actually get this edge guard, though, we'll have to see. I do pump will- oh, he misangled it, but it didn't matter. Uh, Dilster was still too far away. Um... So, anyway, yep, that's what I mean with forward air. It's really good in those situations when you're trying- when you can, like, outspace Lucina. Pretty hard to use, like, in general and neutral, but when you're outspacing him, I'm not sure about that down tilt. I don't really have the down tilt punish off the counter, but... Um, Greninja's just fine from this because uh, Greninja's recovery is really good, so if you're to drop stage, you can still make it back just fine. Um, yeah, so of course trying to get those Hydro Pump angles, he has to go a little bit downward. And forward tilt a little bit unsafe. Um, and that's the thing about Greninja's shield grab, it's not amazing because he has a frame 10 grab, but if you know the frame data on what you're hitting, you can land them. Oh, Ooh, okay. That was scary, but, um, Quark didn't shield because, um, there's a Greninja- Ooh, that's tough, that's tough, yeah. A lot of them like to up B Greninja's recovery like that, but, um, the down air will definitely kill. Um, and that's the thing with Greninja, generally, like, you wanna- When you're trying to, like, edge guard him, you don't wanna, like, um, uh, you don't want to, like, go off stage and hit him necessarily. You're better off just staying on stage and trying to two-frame him. Um, or get, like, a spike like that. Um, I shouldn't tell everyone my secrets, but yeah. Alright, so anyway, this looks like it's a game 5, because it's going to game 3 now. Um, the question is, can Quark take this set? And, really, I want Quark to take this set because I'm a Quark fan, and also, um, Quark's for Ninja's a little frogger, so, so I'd like to see some more of it. Um, but, um, you know, I know Dosu's also a fan favorite player. I'm just biased. This is biased commentary, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, but anyway, um, okay, so nice air dodge, wait for blood. Uh, okay, dash attack. Nice with Harry, but I think Park might not have been ready for that necessarily. Ooh, that spot dodge is a little bad. Yeah, Dilster is kind of just using his movement when the course of these disadvantage situations. Um, and Quark's kind of like panic picking an option and, and Dilster's just punishing him for it. Let's see, yeah, not for the back air. Kind of smart there because he knows Dilster's gonna just shield. Um, and you could like, really nice dash attack there. Because, um, like, Dilster was punishing the spot dodge before for like, for defensive options, so the dash attack was really nice mix up there. That's tough, but... Okay, but because Dilster didn't get both hits of the Nair, um, he didn't get the kill, so Greninja still lives. Yeah, okay, nice. Okay, Quark almost had the Hydro Pump game, but not quite. The thing about the Hydro Pump like that on stage is, um, with Greninja, is it's good as a mix-up because if they know you're gonna do it, it's actually easily punishable. But, Dilster might not have been ready for it because Quark hasn't done it much, so... 
All right, so 185. Now, up is gonna be close to killing now. Um, I actually did kill. I, I didn't think, um, up would kill. Just because Dilster was at zero. Um, so he had no rage, but up actually did kill there. Um, all right, maybe not the, okay. Nice, okay. Those drifts are so hard to catch on, like, platform stages. It's like, you should just be able to punish that, but it's like harder than you expect. I like the Hydro Pump, it's a little low percent for like a Hydro Pump Gimp, I feel like. But still, I love it. I love some moist gameplay. Or catching those air dodges, he doesn't have a jump anymore. But still able to get back because of Magnet Hands. Um, we'll see. The thing is, the jump neutral air from Ledge is really good with Greninja, because uh, I don't know, a lot of people are not really able to punish it super well. Um, but if people know it's coming, they definitely can, so it's something that, like, you gotta watch out for. Okay, nice jump from Ledge forward air. That's hard to land, in my opinion, but, um, it's a really good mix-up. Oh, got that back air. That's, like, actually a confirmed thing. Rusina doesn't have, like, a lot of kills confirms necessarily, but... When you get one of those, it feels really satisfying. As Lucina. Um, alright, so... Alright, so... Yeah, Cork, Cork really likes that back air confirm, And he's really good at it, too. I'm surprised that forward tilt actually killed, but it did, so we love to see it. Um, but the 50-60% is hard. He's doing a lot better this game, though, Cork is. He even had the lead for, for a, a portion, but... I don't know. With Greninja, it's kind of, it's sometimes you just get reversed. Um, you don't really get your confirms or your hits as much as, like, I like the Shuriken stall. The Shuriken will stall your momentum. It's really good to mix up your timing when, like, your opponent is ready for it. Let's we'll see if Quark can... Ooh, I like that pivot grab to catch the landing. Um, Greninja has, like, a really, really, um, long-range pivot grab. It's probably his best grab out of dash grab, pivot grab. Um... Yeah, no, go ahead. Um, so we have Jado on the commentary block. No, you're good. We're just at the end of game three versus Dilster and Cork. The Greninja, um, Lucina set and oh, oh gosh, good up the there. double jump up there. Solid read there. Yeah, that was that was a good read. Um, and Cork got really close that game, but um, wasn't able to clutch it out at the end. Actually, I feel like it's the best he's done the entire set. So. Oh, was it clean 3-0, huh? Yeah, it was a 3-0, but it was close. Right. Um, you know. <laughs> it was a close. It was a 3-0, but it was close. We're 